Hey guys, this is Warhawk Beyond 2040 bringing to you some very big news from the world of music where it has been announced and confirmed today that Mike Rutherford, Tony Banks and Phil Collins will reunite as Genesis embark on a massive UK tour which marks the first time in 13 years that the three-piece band has played together on stage. And to be honest really... It doesn't really come as much of a surprise, mainly because there had been reports that these three had been seen meeting up and having dinner and having a few drinks. So obviously this has been in discussion for quite some time, so I'm not at all surprised. The only thing I am a little bit surprised about this news is of course Phil Collins. Now. I respect the hell out of Phil Collins, he's a legend, great drummer, great singer, but the last few shows that I've seen and the last few appearances he's made, he's looked very, very old, very, very frail and, you know, I have to question whether or not his health or his body for that matter can actually hold up this massive UK tour. I mean. I know the fact that he just shows up is is good enough, but I do have to question how are they going to do this, to be honest. But we'll just have to wait and see, really. But no disrespect to these guys, but it is once again another missed opportunity to reform the classic lineup with these three, along with Steve Hackett and Peter Gabriel. Now, um, back in the 80s, all the way up to the early 90s, the three-piece Genesis had a long string of hit singles. Tracks like Turn It On Again, Duchess, Misunderstanding, No Reply At All, Keep It Dark, That's All, Taking It Too Hard, Invisible Touch, Throwing It All Away, Land of Confusion, No Son of Mine, I Can't Dance, Hold On My Heart, Jesus He Knows, Never A Time, Tell Me Why, Shipwrecked. I mean, so many hit singles, and they were all massive, massive tracks in their own right. But, you know, as I said before, if it's not the classic lineup of Genesis, then I'm sorry, I have no interest in this whatsoever. And, you know, Best of luck to these three. I, I hope it goes well for them. They, you know, I hope it goes well for them, and I hope it, you know, it's a good one for them. But it's a hard pass for me. I'm sorry, it's not Genesis for me. Without Steve Hackett and Peter Gabriel, it's not Genesis. It's just the Phil Collins show with Rutherford and Banks as his sidemen, and you know, these guys don't need money. They're incredibly wealthy, especially Phil Collins. They just don't need the money and I don't really see the point. I mean we've seen the three piece Genesis reunions too many times, more than I care to count. But you know, best of luck, as I said. I hope it goes well. I hope Phil Collins is well enough and up to the job. I cannot see him playing the drums. I honestly can't. Probably they'll draft in Chester Thompson again. Guitarist probably will be Dal Stumer again, so it is Genesis, but it's not the Genesis that we all know and love and remember. So, it is what it is. So, I'm going to wrap this up now, and I'm going to leave this here for all of you. Tell me what you guys think. What's your thoughts on the Genesis free piece getting back together? Are you excited about it or not? You know what to do. Leave your thoughts and comments down below. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and I'll see all of you next time.